Hi! Today I want to talk about a way to provide IBCS conform display of different scenarios in Power BI. Okay, let's talk about how to do good business communication with your data when showing several scenarios like actuals, budgets, forecasts and prior year values in just one single chart. The International Business Communication Standards, or IBCS, suggests to do it as follows. Having black columns for actuals and cross-hatched ones for the forecast. The corresponding budget values are in the background and kind of overlap by actuals and forecasts. In case you also want to add another scenario like prior year values, IBCS recommend to add pins to your charts. What we've seen here are images taken from the Zebra BI visuals for Power BI. Those visuals currently are the only IBCS certified visuals available, so I highly recommend to check them out. I think they are some of the best visuals to include in your reporting. The link to the homepage is in the description below. Um, there is a free version with restricted features and a pro version that comes with additional costs. They provide an incredible they provide an incredible amount of uh, cool features that we are not able to replicate in Power BI in any other way. But what if you can't or don't want to afford those visuals for whatever reason? Is there another way to achieve it? At least nothing of this can be done in standard Power BI. And as often, the key to that is the Charticulator visual. So the first step is to download the Charticulator visual from AppSource. You can simply do that from Power BI Desktop, going to AppSource, typing Charticulator, and download it right away. I've already done that. Our data in this example is quite simple. We have some actuals, some budget values, forecasts, prior year values, all by month. In addition, we have two scenarios, an actual on and a forecast scenarios. This is just, just some kind of flag that flags whether a month is an actual month or a forecast month, depending on the slicer selection um, yeah, I'm applying. So the first step to create a chart is clicking the ellipsis, or just wait a second. First, we have to apply some, some data to the data field or to the field list. I've already done that, so all the data, the month, the actuals, the scenarios, everything is put into the, the field list. And now you're able to <coughs> click the ellipsis and hit edit and create chart to create the building of the chart in Charticulator. First, we grab the month and put it into the x-axis. The second thing is that we are building out the glyph, which is the representation of the data points. We are starting by adding some guides to the glyph. This is just for adding some additional granularity to the glyph um, to, to create this kind of overlapping effect between actuals and, yeah, and budgets and forecasts. After that, we are ready to put our data axis onto the glyph, like this. We are hiding our data axis. This is just for hiding it in the visual, so we can see it in the glyph but not in the visual. And we are ready to put our scenarios or our data fields onto this data axis. So here we go. Maybe we can have it a little bit bigger. Just a big, just a bit bigger. And now we have our data axis and our data points and we are ready to put some marks, some rectangles on it 
to create those columns for these different scenarios. First, we are taking or we are creating the budget. So this is dragging the rectangle all the way from the bottom to, yeah, to the height of the budget scenario. Of course, we can apply formatting to it. So we will go with white color and the black stroke. We do the same for, um, for the actuals now. Now we are creating this kind of overlapping effect yeah, where we are just overlapping the budget using our, our actual data. Apply a black color to it. And we also have to add forecasts. So it's at least almost the same thing we are doing now click the marks and adding a rectangle right from the bottom up to the forecasts data point and we are applying it above right above the column for the actuals um, this is because in the end we want to achieve an effect where we either have uh, months showing the actual bars or columns and some of them uh, just showing the, the forecast um, data uh, and compare those columns with the underlying budget values. So um, in order to achieve that we have to play around a bit with the visibility. So we mark our forecast column and we now we have this forecast scenario flag and we drag it into the conditional visibility. And we are able to configure it that this column only shows for months where the forecast applies. We are doing the same thing for the actuals, marking or selecting the actuals, dragging the actual scenario and then do it the other way around, selecting actuals for it. So what we now have, we have months that are either actual months, so showing a black column, or forecast months showing a gray column. We also want to apply some uh, data labels. In order to do this, we we just select our columns, we grab a text box and we just set it a bit above that column and add the values. After that we are selecting the, um, the actual data, also add a text box put it to the top and display the actual data here. Now, as we can see here, um, the labels for actuals and forecasts are shown above each and every column. So we also have to apply um, the rules for visibility that we set for the columns. Uh, we also have to apply it for the labels, which means that we add the scenario act to the labels of the actual bars and we add the scenario forecast to the visibility of yeah, the forecast bars. Um, the last step is to also add our uh, prior year values. Um, this can be done, or this uh, should be done by um, applying or importing some uh, icons, some images. So we at least put the put the icon, put an icon at 
yeah, at least at the height of the prior year values. And yeah, do some settings about it. And then we can simply import our image to display those prior year values, which leads us to yeah, this kind of result. We are now able to save it, which leads to the perfect ordering of, of uh, all those months according to their appearance in the year. And yeah, all the data, all the scenarios are um, pretty much um, shown now. So we can go back to the report and at least, yeah, the rest is just about formatting it to make it look a, bit, a little bit more appealing. Um, so here's a short recap of the main steps we applied. In the next video, we will even enhance this chart by creating so-called multi-tier visuals to display the deviations between actuals and forecasts and budgets. So I hope you enjoyed it. Till then, stay healthy, stay safe, and goodbye from Hamburg. <laughs>